Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about or play games and today we're gonna be playing Super Mario Odyssey. Now in the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and saved New Donk City from the Mecha Wiggler and in this episode we're gonna go ahead and do something special for Pauline. We're gonna get her... Well, we won't be getting them back together, but we'll be getting them, them together for the first time. Uh, that was weird wording, so I'll just rephrase it. We're getting a band together for the festival that's going to be taking place uh, later in the game. Or, not really later in the game, it's just at another point. I'm just very bad at phrasing things today. Anyways, this guy's saying, you're going around getting musicians to play with Paul with the mayor for the festival. I got that, right? Or, I got that right. I am just very bad at reading and getting my points across today. I don't know what my deal is today, but... Anyways, well, for the gig rates the mayor pays, I am definitely in. And, uh, you know, civic pride and new donk for life and all that, too. Yeah. Guitarist on board. Now, if you've seen the last episode, then... You'll remember that we already got the drummer here, and so we need four people in total. We've already gotten two, and we should be able to find the other two people we need very quickly. Especially because there's rays of light coming down upon them. Mayor Pauling Commemorative Park. I think he's playing like the Donkey Kong song that plays when you're going through the levels and stuff like that. I'll have to re-listen to it later and I'll tell you in post if it is. What's with the series face, pal? Wait a sec. Yeah, I heard about you, little man. You're on the musical mission for the for the mayor, that right? The little faces always throw me off. And also, he only heard about me because I'm going out getting people for the music when I've saved a kingdom several times even if you don't know that if you even if you don't know about the mushroom kingdom stuff I still like Mario still saved the people from Donkey Kong there are people who believe that Jumpman is Mario's yeah. father I'm pretty sure there's an interview where that was uh, dis debunked but yeah bassist on board So now we just need one more person, and he's in a very strange place. We have to do a bit of parkour to get up to him. I was wondering if I could get up to there from here. Hey, I did that. So that's pretty cool. I bonked. Okay, I'm sorry for that. It's just that the Joy-Con keeps drifting. Come on. Con okay. I, I apologize for this once again. It's just I need to get new controllers. Because these are my second pair and I've only had... I've had the Switch since like 2018 or so, and I've already gone through two pairs of controllers, and I don't go through stuff like that normally. Like with all my other consoles, it's usually, I usually just have one, and if there is one, it's just like, it takes a lot of years for it to actually wear down. Like my 3DS, I've had that since like 2012, I think and it only recently broke and then my ps4 controller recently broke and i've had that for about the same time as the nintendo switch maybe i have the nintendo switch a little longer but i already need my third controller so i i don't think it's just me not being careful i think it's something with the joy cons which a lot of people have reported anyways this guy's a trumpet and that's pretty cool what brings you all the way up here groovy hat man one sec, are you the one looking for cats to play with the mayor? You are! You tell the mayor anytime, any place. I wouldn't miss our festival for the world. And that's our final musician that we need to get. 
Trumpeter on board. Yeah. That's all the musicians we need. Thanks. I am amazed at your persistence. You should consider running for public office. Now I need to figure out this other problem. See, the underground power plant seems to be out of commission. We need that thing to supply power for the festival. I don't suppose you're familiar with the underground work, are you? Well, now that you mention it, I do happen to be my profession. Well, I guess Mario does isn't a plumber anymore. He's a sports guy, but he'll he'll always be a plumber to me. Yeah, now we're in the underground power plant. It's a pretty neat looking place. And it right off the bat shows you your goal. This is where you need to go. And so yeah, I haven't played through this section in a long time. So forgive me if I'm bad at it. Yeah, we put our hat through the weird throwy thing. And we can make it right across. Now somehow Pauline is here. And even though we went through all of that, like, she just took a shortcut here, I guess, that she didn't even bother to notify us about. But yeah, we could quickly take down the two piranhas and we get our own power moon. Powering up the station is our next power moon, and yeah, it was a pretty easy one. You know, we got through the level pretty quickly. Now we can go ahead and ground pound the G Super Mario Galaxy Switch. And their entire power source is power moons. And our goal is to get 124 power moons so we could go over and defeat Bowser. So why can't we just borrow some? <laughs> Thank you, Mario. Now that you're ahem powered up you now that you've ahem powered up the city, I'm not good at like throat clears and laughs and stuff like that and text, so I'll just skip over them. Now that you've powered up the city, it's time for the festival to begin. Also, they're playing the original Mario theme on the instruments. I forgot to point that out earlier. Now we can finally kick off the festival in style and power, shall we? Oh hey, would you like to participate in the festival? It's right up your alley. Yes. Oh. So yeah, this festival here, it's probably my favorite part of the entire game. This entire festival is a tribute to the original Donkey Kong. So that's pretty cool. But that still raises the question, how did the guy not know about us and you're just like, oh, you're Pauline's music boy. Like, how much time has passed since then? Because Miyamoto confirmed in an interview back in like 2006 or something like that, that Mario was 24 to 25 years old. And so, how much time has passed since then? Because in a Super Smash Bros. Melee thing, it confirms that Mario is 26 instead of 24 or 25. Uh, so, you'd think at least like one or two years have passed. And then, uh, in Luigi's Mansion 3, it makes a reference to Punch-Out, seemingly the Wii Punch-Out, yet in the, what is it called, the trailer for Punch-Out Wii says it's 15 years after the original Punch-Out, even though Lil Mac and all of the fighters are the same age. 
And so you'd think around 15 years would have passed, right? So what how does this work here? Am I just overthinking a game for young kids? Yeah, probably, but hey, we got to the end of the festival. A little fun little thing here is that when you talk to Pauline, she stops talking, so it's just the instruments playing in the background. Couldn't have done it without your help. Please accept this as a gift. A traditional festival. This is when I realized that I really like this game. I, I also apologize for any background noise. Uh, that's just like a thing that's gonna happen because you know, I'm a teenager. I don't live on my own, obviously. Oh. I completely missed that. But yeah, obviously, you know, there's gonna be background noise, so... If you can't handle that, then I'm sorry, you know. But yeah, I feel like we could get a few more power moons and then we could go ahead and sign off the video. Also, there are like Donkey Kong little things set up all around, like little advertisements. Also, this right here. Worst part of the game. So you have to do jump roping and it gets progressively faster, but with Joy-Con Drift, you can't stand still. So, like, I. Here, I'll go ahead and show you how bad the Joy-Con Drift is. Okay, now it doesn't want to show. Okay, as soon as I want to show you guys how bad it is, it works perfectly. So yeah, you get a moon for going to 30, and then you get a moon for going to 100. Your best bet is to, when it starts out slow, you just want to jump normally. But when it starts getting really fast, you want to... want to start throwing out Cappy, because he can give you a bit of extra time in the air. Okay, Cappy just didn't- My, I need to get new controllers. Because these just don't work properly. You can also capture this guy for some reason. I guess because he's like the one guy not wearing a hat. This part's a bit hard to control, by the way. Uh, I think I got it in a good position, though. And we got it! Sweetious! I think there's one that you could get over here? No, I, I think that's another building, actually. We've been going for like 15 minutes now. I think a, a little bit less, so I think I'm gonna end it off. I keep saying think a lot. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it off after the next moon that I get. You know, I'll just end it off there because that's a comedic ending. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and finish up New Donk City and maybe even head to the next kingdom, whichever that may be. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!